Hello, and welcome to Danny Bumbles Through Minecraft. Uh, my last time around, I did a bunch of episodes of a map called Captive, in which the world order expands based on the number of achievements you get. Unfortunately, I hit a minor snag partway through it that uh, there was a bit of a bug. I couldn't uh, finish all the achievements. So I'm going to start a new series of something completely different. Captive 2.0. Uh, the guy who made the original has made basically a sequel to it that is supposed to be much harder. Uh, this is a custom generated map instead of one that looks like it was supposed to be intentionally generated. So we'll see what happens here. I'm going to go ahead and guess that my first wood is going to be deep underground instead of easily accessible like it was last time around. So we'll start once again with taking inventory to increase me to kind of a 3x3 three three border. Um, just going to make sure the achievements aren't like tweaked somehow this time around. It looks like everything's still the same. So I'm going to dig until we get some red sand. Or dig through the red sand and presumably get some wood because... If there's not wood right under me, then I think this might be a very short play. I don't see any wood above me, because that was my other thought. Coming in, I kind of had a feeling that this was going to be the very start of it, was... Haha, -ha, you get one achievement for opening your menu and nothing else readily available. I'm going to start making a spiral down. I'm guessing it's probably going to be in the middle, part way down. And we've hit something else. Um, now I'm curious if red sand is... Yes, it acts just like regular sand. Okay. That's one mystery solved. And I've not really looked into any of what's special about this map. I didn't really want to get spoilers. I'm more a fan of doing blind Let's Plays. Uh, so all I looked up was the tips that it's possible to do the skeleton duel. It's possible to do the thousand meters on a minecart. And... Uh, what was the last one? Oh yes, the last one was that quartz block up there. Do not mess with it. Because uh, they've added in something... Oh! They've added in this, the Room of Monuments. Um, so what do we have here? We have clay, we have wood, a stick, a shovel, a pick, and some gold nuggets. I'm... I'm not sure what to make of this. Um, this honestly does not look very promising. Like, I guess I'll go ahead and take the chest, too, just cuz, but... I think I'm going to have to keep going down in order to actually find any wood to get. And I'm going to save my tools because... I honestly have no idea what to expect out of this map, aside from looks like they're just going for a uh, kind of brutal difficulty this time around, so... <clears throat> Keep on digging and see what happens. Wait, now you're sand. Okay. What are you? You're white.
That's probably another one of those new materials they just put in to confuse me. Um, unless it's like wood in disguise, but I'm thinking that's not actually it. Let's see. Uh, I should probably try and keep myself a way out of here. Mm. Yeah, I feel like I could have planned this whole thing out better, but oh well. Oh, here's another room. Oh, oh, wood! Ow. Wood! Alright, well, it looks like we're kind of making more of an adventure map out of this one. So, we'll make a crafting bench. And what's next? Uh... It wants me to make those th Oh, good. We expanded just enough. I can get more wood. Not sure if that's clay or something else. I keep forgetting. Oh, another chest. That's fun. What do you got? You got apples, <clears throat> bowls, water bottles, and a regular potato. Okay. Like, I'm not going to turn down free stuff, but... Oh. I feel like I have to be very careful about what I do next. Because I'm sure they gave me exactly enough wood. That's probably why there was that single stick. So that I can make a hoe, a sword, and a pick. So let's see, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven planks, and one, two, three, four, five sticks. So Yeah, that's probably why I've got that. So we'll make a shovel. and I am a goddamn idiot. Okay, um, well, we made a shovel. Let's see if I still have enough stuff left that I can make a hoe, a pick, and a sword, and not a shovel. Sword. Pick. Okay. Well, I managed to bumble a bit, but I recovered. Um, hopefully I don't need the shovel's worth of tools for something else any time in the immediate future. I'm going to take the crafting table with me just in case. Um, what are you? Are you clay? You are clay. Okay. I'm not going to say no to free clay. Uh, I am probably going to say no to whatever's behind door number one, however, so that'll do. What do we got? Okay. Huh. Alright, what's next? Uh, I'm guessing these are not next. Cow, a monster. Huh. Well, I guess we continue on downwards. Um, what are you? You're red stained clay. Oh, and. We'll go ahead and break a pickaxe. Let's see. So that was enough to get a, uh, yeah, a furnace. That's the word. Get a furnace out of this. So there's that. Uh, what do you want me to do next? Make iron and catch a fish. And, oh yeah, I can make a stone pick. That's probably the correct answer, is the stone pick. Oh, 
Oh, and good, I do still have two sticks left, even after my screw-up. So, there's my upgraded pick. And, let's see, a golden apple is probably not going to happen anytime soon. So, unless there's a monster, I'm guessing the next thing I do is continue on downwards and find... Uh, iron and or coal. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just follow the world border. Oh, and oh, I was gonna say it's about to get very dark where I'm going, but oh, right. Is that iron? It looked really white when I was up there before. No, it's iron. Okay, I guess I was just confused. Maybe bad lighting, maybe bad eyes, who knows. Um, okay, I was going to say, it seems really well lit in here, but that was just the torches. Okay. So we continue on downwards, and I'm just going to use up my entire wood pick first. Oh! Hi. Oh, right. Um... going to use the red sand that was just because I didn't want to lose that torch down in the pit and we'll make another step here This is definitely a more well thought out map than the last one was. The last one seemed like it was just, you know, let's put things places and see what happens. This one is, if you didn't plan ahead, you're probably going to fail. Which, I rather expect to fail sooner rather than later if for no other reason than my wood fiasco. Alright, so what do we have here? We've got... I can't remember if you can get coal with a regular one, and I don't want to risk destroying coal. It seems like it would be a terrible decision on my part. Um, Oh, I hear angry monsters. Oh, I see a nice little cave with a treasure chest over there. That's always fun. And we'll go back to the wooden pick for now. We're going to stick you over there so I can get to you faster. Wait, was that? Yes, more iron. I can always use more iron. Herp. And another. Why, oh, I, I think I will. Thank you. Okay, uh, what was I looking at for achievements next? Oh, smelt and iron. Well, I do now have a coal and... Well, I've got a coal and three iron. I feel like the way this game is going, I probably don't want to use my coal until I've got a good amount of iron. So let's keep going for a little bit longer. So I do realize it's getting rather dark down there. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to kind of leapfrog my torches down here, just so I keep them with me. Because you right there, Mr. Torch, you're not doing me any good when I am down in that pit. And I'm sure this is going to come back and bite me in the ass when I need to, you know, flee this place here in a little bit. I'm going to be 
racing back for the surface and there's going to be so many mobs spawned right on my face. Alright. And I think we will pause right here because I can't remember how much time I'm at. So this might be about 15 minutes.